There is a dinosaur whose name means the paradoxical reptile from Liaoning. And that's perfect, because this animal's confusing. It's day 17 of Dinovember, and somebody asked to talk about this little guy, so let's do it. But I'm going to preface everything I say with this, that this has been the hardest time I've had in a while getting access to scientific papers about a topic. Like, multiple of the main papers about this little weirdo, I simply cannot find. So already... The paradoxical reptile is living up to his name. I think it represents the smallest specimens of ankylosaurs that we've ever found, each one of them being only around a foot long, although most scientists agree that these represent babies or really young individuals. It also seemed to have very few of the armored plating called osteoderms that are kind of the ankylosaur's main deal, although most paleo artworks of it that I see do include a lot of osteoderms. So again, not really sure what's going on there. Here's one example of a specimen where I don't see any osteoderms on the back, but there definitely is some like armored plating on the back of its neck, so. But the biggest weird thing is from a 2016 paper arguing that it was aquatic and ate fish, in which case it perhaps looked something like this, which is certainly intriguing. Or here's another reconstruction under that hypothesis, like this is a Pokemon, right? One of the reasons they argue for this is that it has a shell-like osteoderm on the underside of it instead of on its back like another ankylosaur. In other words, it has a ventral bony plate instead of dorsal ones. And apparently they interpret this as possibly protecting it from underwater attacks. But later studies of this feature identify it as probably some kind of skin structure and not a bony plate. That 2016 article also pointed to this particular specimen of Leoningosaurus, which appears to have fish in its gut. And of course they use that as evidence of what it eight but and i know this is kind of hard to see i'm sorry but these little tiny red arrow things point to where there are fish fossils here and you can see that they're kind of all throughout the animal and not just in its gut and even kind of outside of it so it's also been pointed out that maybe this little guy just happened to get buried on top of where some fish already were or maybe these fish were scavenging an already dead animal and then they all died together or something like that and other features of its anatomy that were used to argue for its aquatic lifestyle have also been just suggested to be the case because these specimens are really young individuals so look things are definitely uncertain here and although i absolutely love the idea of a tiny ankylosaur that swam around and hunted fish because that is so bizarre and adorable in so many ways personally i'm a little skeptical again i don't have access to some of the key scientific papers here but i haven't exactly been blown away by the evidence for the aquatic hypothesis and for as out there of a hypothesis as it is i would like to hear some particularly compelling reasons for believing it as carl sagan famously put it extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence